it cause strangers our heartbreak and secrets. Yet I'm bright enough to know that although the person I loved hurt me so deeply, it was me who allowed this hurt to continue and to fester into something so depressing, so ugly, and so painful. We are the women that smile when we don't want to. Make light of our situations to cover the pain. Turn to inspect the gadget when the unfamiliar attractive women labeled just a friend starts to pop up. Sometimes we cry ourselves to sleep and then do a smoky eye on ourselves in the morning to mask what we've endured the night before. We are bruised women. We don't always have physical scars, but our minds and our hearts feel it all, blow by blow, fight by fight, other woman by other woman. When we are at our lowest, tired of drowning ourselves in hog and dodge and listening to all the love songs that make us reminisce and cry in a fair cycle, we pray. It is our prayer to God that these bastards do not destroy us or steal our joy for long. We pray that one day we'll stop missing them, crying over them, and wanting to call them. We pray that we don't chase our next potential boyfriend, best friend, husband away by making him carry the baggage from our previous relationship. We pray that we give the new guy a genuine chance before we shoot him down just to go home to an empty bed, an empty text message inbox, and another week without a date or companionship. We pray for closure that actually helps us to walk away. No more watching him leave and letting him come back. No more of this ride or die foolishness because we've learned in actuality we ride until we die. Until we're beat up bruised with no parts of ourselves left to give or to spare. And that's when they replace us. We pray to accept that we are now labeled exes. The love we want to give away so badly has been rejected but God does everything for a reason and this we cannot question. And we surely surely don't want any more men with anger problems. No more getting screamed and hollered at. No more getting grabbed up a little too tight. No more personal space violations. No more letting him say sorry just to scream as loud and grab as tightly as he did the argument before. We don't want to hate them. We want to move past them. Even as they seem to move on in one week's time and start snapping flicks with someone else, we pray that the hurt and jealousy that will come from this will go away. And we won't start comparing ourselves to the new chick because of insecurities we developed in a relationship that was never healthy in the first place. Dear God, I know that there are way more important things going on in the world than the heartbreak of the almost secret society of women that I belong to. But could you possibly answer our prayers anyway? Because I know that there is no way you design women just to be a man's plaything. And. If there's a such thing as karma. <laughs> May she Hurricane Katrina that asses into a sea of misery. Leave them hungry easily and without sleep. May she drain and drench them like they did us. Because what's a lesson learned in love if it's not a little rough? Amen. 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 